Welcome to a quick tutorial explaining how to update your keywords for your website in a CMS made simple content management system. Um, I'm going to use an example of the educowebdesign.com site uh, as a basis for how to go about doing this. So first you want to log in to your admin uh, site for your CMS made simple content management system. And we will do that in one second. So once you've logged in, you will arrive at the dashboard for your CMS Made Simple Content Management System. And that's what all this navigation is. Uh, what you want to do is go to Content and then Pages and click on Pages. And then that will get you to uh, a breakdown of all of the current pages that are on your website. So. Just for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to click on the home page. That's the page whose, up, whose keywords we want to update. And then you'll get to the content for that web page. And if you were actually on our website, you would see that that is the content that's on our home page. This image is transitioning, um, you know, and on the content management side, it just looks like one static image, uh, but this is where all the content, and this is the page whose keywords we're editing. See, there's that image. Um, so you go back to the content management system, and you click on this options tab. So you'll see main options preview for the page that you're on. And then you scroll down. So from the top of the page, just scroll down to this little uh, box here. It says page specific metadata. And then you're going to want to, yours may look a little different. It may only have one line or two or whatever, but you want to go to the line that says meta name equals keywords content equals. And then this, these are all of the keywords for that web page. And so you can start, um, you know, let's just do most awesome. Let's say that was the new keyword set we wanted to add. And then you would just go down to the bottom of the page and you would hit apply. And you'll know that that took effect and that that was successful because at the top of the page it'll say the content was success successfully updated. And so you can kind of double check this if you go to um, your home page and click on the refresh button so that it loads in a new version of the page. And then you can right click, or if you're on a uh, if you're on a PC, you want to right click. If you're on a Macintosh, you want to control click. But anyways, you'll see this menu pop up, and you if you click on view source or view page source, um, this box will pop up with a whole bunch of gibberish that may make no sense. But if you scroll down to the line that says meta name equals keywords content, you'll see, you'll see the keywords that we just updated. It do go top most awesome web design. Whatever. So you'll know that that was success, a success. And then what I would also recommend doing is going back to the main page for your for your actual homepage content and go through the text content of that web page and work in most awesome, you know, however it makes sense. You don't just want to throw the keywords in willy nilly, but work it into the content so that it makes sense. And then you're on the back end. You're telling the search engines what it's about, and on the front end, you're telling um, you know the users what your website's about. And and search engines can tell when you do something you know for the users, and you're also doing it for the search engines that that's better. It, you don't just want to kind of market right to the search engines because then they're kind of like uh, this is a little bit shady. But when you build things for search engines and users, you do it correctly. So. I hope that was helpful. If you have any other questions, and of course, then you would hit apply after you update it. But if you have any more questions, feel free to email us at info at educowebdesign.com, and we look forward to hearing from you. Have a great day.